Because how much time did they sentence you to? Uh, life without parole. Life without parole. Yeah. At 20 years One, old. 21. 21. Yeah. Life without parole. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Because how much time did they sentence you to? Uh, life without parole. Life without parole. Yeah. At 20 years One, old. 21. 21. Yeah. Life without parole. And you going down here. Do you expect to be here today? Yeah. To my out on the ground. Yes. How? Because I always told, like, I never stressed about the time. You hear me? Like, like when I was just thinking about this, I'm like, I really got life. Like, every day I'm waking up telling myself, man, you ain't going home. I got life. They, they say you ain't going home. You got life. It didn't sound right. You hear me? You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, if, if I got life, that means all this supposed to be happening. Everybody supposed to walk away from me. I don't put out nobody. I won't really feel it. You hear me? And I really want to pray for that shit. Like, though, like, Lord, if this really what it is, Show me a sign. That's what it is, and them Ain't signs weren't coming. You hear me? So you could feel you was coming. So home. I'm like, look, if 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 this just gonna be a chapter in my life, you hear me? All right, let it be. I'm ready to put this story together. You hear me? If I know this ain't my final destination, because if, if this my final destination, is I, I know it's a wrap. You hear me? All the good that went to taking place for me, even while I was in there, you hear me? I feel like it wasn't gonna be happening if that really why I was supposed to be at. You hear me? So you never went wow. through the stages of. Um, hey, you know, like when, especially when you know you didn't do nothing and you were in the court and they give you that much time, you know, people like their stomach drop, they, 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 they can't believe it, they went in disbelief. I, mean, I was. All of that anger, I was, all of that sort of stuff. I was like, uh, when I first heard, I'm like, oh. That, that they, can't be real. They just told me life. I'm like, boy, look, I was laughing in that. I said, man, Playing with me, you hear me? You must be about to bring me back down here to resentence me or something, you hear Because <laughs> a life sense, boy, that don't even sound right for me to have, you hear Do you watch a movie Life? Yeah, I watched that. <laughs> that's what that reminded me of, because that that's what that was. I watched that, you hear me? And so, he got life. So you you basically, you get down here, and if and, and while you down here, you thinking, okay, how do you, how, do, how does, how does, how do you get out? All right, this is how I got out. See, like, after I got life, my the the witness on my case contacted my investigate my lawyer. And when he contacted my lawyer, he was like, "Man, look, why y'all doing this appeal? I got some information that I want, you know, I want to turn over to y'all. I want to do an affidavit for him, you know, to help him out." Mm -hmm. Lie right back. So when they told me what it is, they like, "Man, we going, you know, meet up with the uh, the witness and." Like, man, you ain't intimidated. I'm like, man, I ain't never talked to that man in a long time. I tell that man nothing. You hear me? I'm going through the process. You hear me? Like, Did you well, know he, the man? Yeah, I, I knew who he was. It was a nigga that was with me. Okay. So, um, he like, man, so look, what are we going to do? We're going to go up there, go see it, and see what he, you know, whatever he's saying, and we're going to go from there. I'm like, right back. So, when they went and seen them, what he said was that, um, he was out on buying, you hear me? Like he, he went to jail on a burglary charge and he got out on bond and he missed court. And some kind of way the DAs, you know, found a way to contact him because he was running them. They can't contact him now since he on the streets. He's like, man, I don't want nothing to do with the case, you hear me? So once they contact him, telling them, look, well, you know, his trial getting ready to come up. We need you to testify. And he's like, man, I don't want have nothing to do with that. Like, well, look, if you don't want nothing to do with it, you already missed court on your case. You can go ahead and put the warrant out for your arrest. On top of that, charge you with the murder that he on and that we got that we had to drop on him before we hear him. We're gonna charge you with everything and just railroad you. That's like, what they told him. That's what they told him. And he was like, man, but only you like we not gonna do it only if you agree to cooperate with us, you hear me? Like doing what? He like, man, his trial coming up. This what we need you to say. Say this, say that. He like, man, well, look, all right, if I got to do all that for y'all, you know, I got a state lawyer, you hear me? He like, man, my lawyer not fighting for me or nothing, you hear me? He like, man, look, we're going to get your state, we're going to get your paid lawyer and everything. Once you get, go to the trial, get on the stand, don't tell the people that we gave you no deal, we paid for no lawyer, none of that, you hear me? Just put all that on there. We're going to tell you everything to say. Don't tell them about nothing, and we're going to go from there. And he agreed to it. So that's how... You know, once once he put all that shit on file, my lawyer wound up submitting up here and submitting that affidavit with all that in there. And I I think he went and got some 
we we had some type of some type of paperwork that confirmed everything Dude was saying. Yeah, we on Boss Talk One on One.